sounds like a remix of Groove On to me. That is correct. That is correct. Yeah. From the uh, from the Queer album. What do you what do you remember about uh, about that song or that? Well, you know, music. Um, when I listen to tr- things like that, it's like a page in a diary. It just takes me right back to where I was. So suddenly, I was sitting in this little dark room in London, <laughs> in front of a mixing desk, working on that. Does that one ring a bell? Um, sure. Yeah, that's uh, that's from the. Um, into the Gap recording sessions. Correct. And I think it's No Peace for the Wicked remixed. That's actually, yeah, I don't know if that's the remix. That's the, actually, the, I think, the original, but you're absolutely right. You, know, you nailed it. <laughs> so obviously that was your the, your your biggest album. What do you remember about that song or that record? Um, well, that was an enormous um, album and, and, and characterized by the big, hit, you know, kind of radio hits. Um, and no piece for the wicked. I guess was seen as something of an album track or something. But it, it's, it's just listening to that little excerpt. It sounded pretty adventurous to me. <laughs> well, that's Babel, and I think it's "You Kill Me" in fact, isn't it? You got the right artist, obviously, but you did no, nope, not the right song. <laughs> I'll try. Want to hear a little more? Um, if it helps, let's try. All right, let's give it a shot. I saw the sun. Okay, I saw the sun. Yep, correct. Uh, yep, uh, sun. I agree. Um, that in in a way that battle album is uh, kind of goes alongside into the gap as 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 one of my favorite studio albums. You know, I think we really landed on something there, partly just by being kind of bloody mindedly experimental. You know, to get away from um, being such a pop group, which was the whole reason for doing Babble, You know, was to kind of shake off the burden of being the Thompson Twins. That's off a product of. Yep. And I think it's called Sophisticated Slave Trade. It is called, slave yeah, it's correct, Slave Trade, absolutely. Uh, and, and it was written by Pete Dodd, and oddly enough, I saw him last night. Oh, is that right? Was he at the show? He came to the show with some uh, old friends, uh, and so we hung out with, um, for a few hours, and it was great fun. It was great to see them. It actually made my day. Oh, no, I think you may have beaten me there. That sounds very familiar. Okay. Uh, and I'd say that's late, late twins. That was, I'll give, if I give you the album, would that help? Maybe Big Trash or something? It was from uh, Close to the Bone. Close to the Bone, oh, okay. You want to hear a little more or are you, or are you stumped? Try me again. Let's All right, just see. All right here we go. Dancing in Your Shoes. Correct. Nailed it. Very good. What do you remember about that record? Well, that was made um, with Rupert Hine. Yeah. Um, I guess it was the last time we made a Thompson Twins record with a producer. Okay. Um, uh, before we kind of moved on to full, full-on full self-production. Um, and it was done in his studio in Amersham in the kind of old farmhouse outside of London and so it was a kind of residential thing, I think. That was what I remember. And, and it was made during the, a very, very tough winter where we, you know, every day it would snow so hard that we never knew if we were going to ever get out of the studio again. 